the Discover It card. How good is it? Is it still competitive in today's market? And who is it a good fit for? Let's find out. Hey there, just call me Cal. I cover topics that save and earn you money, and I'm on a mission to earn you the most cash back. In this video, I'll be reviewing the very popular Discover It card. I'll give you an overview of the card, I'll cover the pros and cons, and I'll discuss who this card is a good fit for. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Remember, to get the most cash back, always pay the credit card statement balance each month. This car is completely free to use. So let's start with the features. With the Discover card, you're getting 5% cash back on rotating categories that you activate on the app or the website. You only earn that 5% back on the first $1,500 in purchases. And the bonus categories this year are grocery stores, Walgreens and CVS for January through March, gas stations, wholesale clubs and select streaming services for April through June, restaurants and PayPal July through September, and Amazon, Walmart and Target.com October through December. So after that, you're getting 1% back on everything else. You need a minimum credit score of 670 for approval. You get double the cash back for your first year of use. You get a 0% interest rate for the first 14 months on purchases and balance transfers. The balance transfers have to be made within the first three months of account opening. Let's start with the con so we can end on a good note. The Discover card is slightly less accepted than Visa and MasterCard. Things have gotten better over recent years, but you will occasionally run into a situation where this card can't be used as payment, especially globally. The 5% categories are always changing, which requires you to keep up to date on where you can earn the highest rate. And you need to activate your bonus categories manually each quarter. That's four times a year you have to take an additional step to earn what they promise you. People are are far more likely to benefit from bonuses that are always turned on and fully automated. An unlimited 2% card will earn you more because it doesn't take any extra planning to reap the benefits. And the flat 2% applies to every purchase. I did a video on the best 2% cards available, which I'll link here. The $1,500 cap on the 5% rate severely limits your cash back potential, especially for big spenders. Since you get cut down to the the 1% rate after you exceed that limit. The 1% cashback rate is not competitive and it's even being eclipsed by some entry level cards. Let's talk about some things I love about the card. It's not all bad. You're getting a very generous 0% intro APR for 14 months, which is rare for a no annual fee card. In the first year, they double your cashback earnings, which is like a straight up cash bonus, maybe even better if you put a lot of spend on the card. Discover's 5% categories are more practical, wide ranging, and offer chances for higher spending than something like the Chase Freedom Flex card. Every quarter, you're getting a strong category. Even if you just go by this year, you're getting grocery, gas stations, restaurants, and big retailers. Just about anyone can get use out of their bonus categories. And lastly, it's just flat out easier to get approved for this card with a minimum credit score of 670. I believe I got approved for this card with a score in the middle 600s years ago. I also really appreciate that there is a path to upgrade from the Discover It Secure card. After six months of responsible usage. Overall, this card is very competitive and worth having in your wallet. If you're getting value out of this video, please smash that like button. All right, my favorite part of the video. Who is this a good fit for? This card is best fit for someone who's looking for their first or second card since there's a lower bar for admission with a credit score of just 670. If you're interested in actively managing your cashback rate to maximize your earnings, then this is the one to pick up. This is also for someone who needs to consolidate debt because this card has a lengthy 0% APR period. The 0% interest also applies to new purchases, so it can be useful for large items that might 
might take you a few months to pay off, like electronics, for example. And that's interest free. It's great for someone who likes to collect that intro bonus cash. If you just have some patience, you can be handsomely rewarded here. Since your first year's rewards are double, it essentially turns this card into a 10% and 2% cashback card, which is really hard to beat in the first year. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time and you have a good one.